Hey guys, it's time for a drill sound warm up. I'll let your teacher pick a drill sound leader while I'm switching slides. Something different today we're going to do is the large cards. We haven't done that in a long time. So, drill sound leader, you know what to do. Letter name, keyword, and sound. Everybody else, wait for baby echo. Here we go. Drill sound leader, take it away. S, snake, s, s, bugs, z, w, wind, w, w, h, whistle, w, c, cat, K, kite, k. CK, sock, k. Okay, drill sound leader, now we're gonna do our standard cards. So what you're gonna do, same thing. Letter name, keyword, and sound. Drill sound leader, take it away. S snake s s bugs z w wind w w h whistle w c cat K, kite, k. CK, sock, k. Good job, drill sound leader. Okay, now we are going to go. And we are going to do a new vowel poster. Let's check it out. I'm going to say it. You're going to repeat me. This is our poster. The first vowel sounds are our short vowel sounds. The second vowel sounds are our vowel consonant E. So listen carefully to me. A, apple, a, a, safe, a. Everybody say that. A, apple, a, a, safe, a. E, ed, e, e, peat, E, E, Ed, E, E, Pete, E. I, itch, I, I, pine, I. I, itch, I, I, pine, I. O, octopus, ah. O, home, O. O, octopus, ah. O, home, O. You, up, a. Uh. You, mule, you. You, rule, oo. You, up, a. Uh. You, mule, you. You, rule, oo. Great job, friends. Okay, now we're going to talk some more about what, whoops, what's going on here? We're going to hey guys, turn that off. <laughs> Never mind that one, huh? I didn't want to click on it. I wanted to switch to the next slide. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk some more about that vowel consonant E. And remember that whenever there is a vowel, and then a consonant, and then the letter E, one of those 13 jobs I told you about for the letter E, that final non-syllabic E, which means it doesn't make a sound, is that it makes that first vowel say its name. 
That's only when there's one consonant between it, okay? So let's try that. So if I had, if I said, what says A? You guys would say A consonant E, okay? Let's try that. What says A? Everybody say it. A consonant E. So what says E? E would be E consonant E. Everybody say that. E consonant E. What says O? Everybody say it. O consonant E. What says I? Everybody say it. I consonant E. What two things do we do for you? Well, what says you, right? So you consonant E. And what can say ooh? It can also be you consonant E. Good job. Okay, now we're going to. We'll do that in a minute, I guess. We're going to look at the different ways to spell k. And I'm going to move myself up here. And we're going to do a sort. I have some words that actually you can't see very well, but you'll be able to when I make it smaller because I got to make it smaller to um, move them. So we're going to look at these words. They're right down here along the bottom. We have smoke, bake, cat, thick, act, quick, call, and kite. Who could tell me one way we spell the k sound? Let's look at cat, right? Let's move that one up first. So if I move cat up here, whoops, that didn't work. Wrong word I grabbed. If I move cat up here, do you see another word that has the same spelling for k as dude, as cat? The same spelling as cat. Raise your hand and tell your teacher. The same spelling as cat. I see two words. Hopefully you found them. One word is act, right? And then we have call. We've talked about the spelling. Whoops, I'll move quick here because I'm going to do that next. Call, right? So we have call. So then we've talked about the fact that after a short vowel, if you hear the k sound, it's spelled CK. Do you guys see another word or words that start with or that have the CK for the k? Yeah, thick, right? Thick. So now let's look for the words that have the K spelling or the k spelling when it's K. So here we have k, i, t, kite. So then we have bake and we have smoke. I want you guys to look at the K words. The ones where it's spelled K. See if you can find anything. What two letters do you see that K is spelled for the k sound before what two letters do you see? Well, in this one, we have an I, right? And in this one, it's E. So when you have the k sound followed by an I or an E, it's going to be spelled with a K. Notice how the cat, and I did not mean to pick them that they'd all be A followed by an A, but if it's a letter other than E, I, or Y, because remember, I and Y toggle, that it's the C spelling. 
And then we know that we use the CK spelling when we hear a short vowel. Okay, so get out some paper or your board and we're gonna practice spelling some words. So I'm gonna give you a second to get that out. So now that you have paper or your board, we're gonna say some words and we're going to spell them. The first word I want you to spell is cap. Let's tap it. K -ap. Write it and then give your teacher a thumbs up. If you're at school, have someone go to the board and use your cards to spell that for the class. If not, you can spell it for your virtual kiddos. The next word we're going to spell is the word cape. So that's going to be k a p. Remember how we said you make that a say a? Have someone um, go ahead and write it on your paper, friends. And then if you're at school, you're going to have someone spell it on the board. If not, you're going to spell it for your kiddos. The next word is tub. Let's tap it. T -ub. Write it. Have someone spell it for your class. Let's do the next word. The next word is tube. Ready? T -ub. Go ahead and write it. And then have someone spell it. The next word is not. Ready? Not. Write it. Have someone spell it on the board or spell it for your kiddos. The next word is note. Note. Write it. Have someone spell it on the board. Then go ahead. So the next word is spin. S-p-i-n. Write it. Have someone spell it. Now we're going to spell spine. Ready? S-p-i-n. Write it. And then have one, someone spell it. We're going to do a couple more words. The first word is nine. Let's tap it. N -I -N. Write it. Have someone spell it on the board or you spell it for your kiddos. Check it. The next word is lane. Let's tap it. L -A Mm. The next word is mule. M U O. Each time you're having someone spell it on the board or you're spelling it for your kiddos. The next word is Steve. Steve. S T E V. Write it. And the last word is hope. H o p. Great job. Now we're going to do dictation. Today's dictation is just on your dry erase board or a piece of paper. The first sound I want is a. A. Thumbs up when you're ready. Let's check it. Remember, we're going to write a like this. A consonant E. That dash represents the consonant, right? Now I want you to write ah, ah. Give us a thumbs up when you're ready. Ah is spelled A. Now I want you to spell z. Thumbs up when you're ready. Z is spelled at Z or S. It's important you have that Z first, so it should be in this order, Z comma S. Now we're gonna do a review word, stump, stump. I want you to tap it out and write it. Thumbs up when you're ready, S 
stump. Stump is spelled S-T-U-M-P, stump. Now we're going to do the word vote. I will help you tap this, just this first one. Ready? Vote is going to be V-O-T. Give us a thumbs up when you're ready. Vote is spelled V-O-T-A. Go ahead and mark it with the um, macron above, crossing out the E and underlining the whole word. For the next two words, I want you to make sure to mark it before I flip the slides. The next word is chase. Everybody say chase. Tap it, write it, mark it, and give us a thumbs up. Chase is spelled C-H-A-S-E. Put a macron above the A, cross out the E, and underline the whole word. The next word is dive. Dive. Go ahead and write it, mark it, and give us a thumbs up. Dive is spelled D-I-V-E. Put the macron above the I, cross out the E. Now we're going to do two trick words. Remember with trick words, you're spelling the sounds out, the letters out, you're spelling the letters. The first word is about, about. Thumbs up when you're ready. About is spelled, whoops, I must have done that one second. Yep, sorry, there it is, A-B-O-U-T. The next word is our, our. Go ahead and write it and then give us a thumbs up. If you weren't quick enough to peek, <laughs> my slides got in the wrong order. Our is O-U-R, our. Now we're gonna do a sentence. Whoops, dude, I'm having issues today clicking. So sentence is, the wise king sat on his throne. The wise king sat on his throne. The wise king sat on his throne. Everybody say throne. Feel that in your mouth. Throne. You should feel every sound. The wise king sat on his throne. Give us a thumbs up when you're ready. Make sure your sentence looks like mine. The wise king sat on his throne. The only words we need to mark right now, this um, at this moment, since we're just learning them, are our vowel consonant E words. So um, go ahead and mark those if you didn't, which is fine if you didn't, because we're practicing them, we're learning it. So we're gonna put the macron above the I, crossing out the E and underlining the word. Same thing with the throne. I'm going to put the macron above the O. I'm going to cross out my E and I'm going to underline the whole word. Great job today, friends.